<laughs> no. <laughs> it was saying it was trying to connect. Good morning, everybody. I hope we're I hope we're good this morning and live. All right, I hope so. Anyway, good morning to you and welcome to another Bible art journaling activity and devotional. I'm your host, Hadrian of Salisbury, and I uh, hope you all had wonderful rest last night and awakened to a bright and beautiful day. It looks like it's going to be a nice day here in the Ville, and um, I'm ready to get started with a little bit of devotional this morning and some artwork. Uh, this is part of my worship, and um, I am... Uh, I, I like being able to share it with you all. It's just some different, something different for you to do for, during your worship time. Not something that you have to do every day, but, um, you know, not like me. <laughs> but I love to paint. I like to get into some paint and, um, and do something artistic. And this gives me a chance to do something artistic as well as get into God's Word, okay? And um, this week... And well, last week I picked a theme because sometimes, you know, you can kind of get um, uh, stuck with what to <clears throat> what to paint, what to do, what to focus on. And so I picked the theme of doors and I did some research and there are a lot of uh, references to doors in the Bible and scenes where doors are somehow, um, you know, in the scene, okay? <laughs> doors are there in the scene. And so um, I've picked a few. I'm going to show some of you just, you know, to do a little catch up so that you can see what we've been doing. Um, this one was in Exodus um, 11, verse 15, where... Um, they were instructed, the Israelites were instructed to put the blood on the doorpost so that the death angel would pass over. We did that one. This was in 2 Samuel chapter 11, where Uriah slept at King David's doors and did not go down to his wife and eat and drink and be married with his wife. Um, you know, David wanted him to do that to kind of cover up his sin. Didn't quite work. And um, unfortunately, Uriah, you know, died. David uh, ordered that. Um, but um, Uriah slept at his door, did not go down to his house. All right. <clears throat> nice verse. Blessed is the man that hears me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. And that's Proverbs 8, 34. Beautiful text. This was in Matthew 6, um, verse 6. And it says, when you pray, go into your closet. And uh, when you've shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. All right. Now this necess this didn't necessarily have a door in it, but it says knock. This is ask and seek and knock. Right? <laughs> Matthew 7, 7. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. All right. Let's see. Love this story. Um, at Simon's uh, house, his mother-in-law was sick and Jesus went and visited and healed her and she got up immediately and started serving and ministering to uh, the people there and it said and the whole city gathered together at the door <laughs> and that must have been a scene for all those people to be right at her um, doorsteps at her home all right and then our our main theme seems like I had one. I do have one more. Um, 
Yes. Uh, our main theme for the whole <laughs> door series, Jesus says, I am the door. And by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Amen. Beautiful promise. And then yesterday, I did not get a chance to write the verse down, and I think I will maybe a little later on today. But this was uh, one of the texts I remember um, having to memorize when I um, was in church school, and this was Revelation 3.20. Um, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Okay, and if any man... Hear my voice and open the door. I will come in with him and sup with him and he with me. All right. And um, there might be a few other things I might want to do with this. Something on this pot, I think. And, and then write that text down there. Okay. All right. So that's where I am. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> hey, good morning, Tina. How are you? My folk from home. Leslie is on as well. Good morning, Tasha. Good morning to you all. Thank you for being with me and being a part of my journey this morning. I'm glad you all are here. <laughs> all right, so I want to continue with my door theme. I don't have my mapping page. I don't know what I did with my prayer journal. I think it's downstairs and I can't go down there just yet. So I think I'm going to go to Second Kings, which is my favorite book. <clears throat> it's my favorite book. Wonderful, um, wonderful, wonderful stories and miracles that take place in there with uh, the prophet Elisha. And I haven't done, uh, there's two stories in, in this chapter um, that deal with the door. And I think for today, I want to go to the uh, widow whose two sons were going to be put into slavery because their father had passed away and had a lot of debt. And um, for payment, they were going to take this widow's son. All right, let's pray and then we'll get started, okay? All right, Father in heaven, I just want to thank you for another day, which equals another opportunity to do something great for you. It's another opportunity to show love to someone. It's another opportunity to get things right with others and it's get things right with you. I pray, Lord, that you will be with us in our devotional and our uh, journaling activity this morning. I pray that someone will be blessed by what um, is read and said or even through an art piece, Lord. Um, thank you for this opportunity and this platform to be able to um, share your word with others. And I pray, Lord, that this gospel will go far and wide. And I thank you for what you're doing. In Christ's name, amen. All right, so I'm in 2 Kings, the uh, fourth chapter, and there are two stories, back to back, really, um, that a door is part of the um, scenery and part of the scripture. And um, I was sharing with you before we prayed that this woman whose husband um, passed away, he was one of the... Um, um, students under prophet Elisha he passed away but he left some debt and so the creditors were going to come and take this woman's son as part of payment well she runs to Elisha and says to him you know look this is what's happening what what can I do he's well what do you have in your house beautiful I love that what do you have in your house? <laughs> and um, she says, all I have is this, you know, this a little bit of oil, you know. And he tells her to go and get some pots and and borrow it from your neighbors. And then um, 
shut the door, verse four, and when thou art come in, this is King James Version, okay? <laughs> and when thou come in, thou shalt shut the door behind thee and um, upon thy sons and shall pour out into all those vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went with him, uh, went from him and shut the door upon her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out. All right. So let's talk about that. I'm going to get started, but let you know, I love this story and we've done this, uh, in, in my old Bible. Cause you know, this is Bible number three, <laughs> but, um, and I think I'll do it on this page. Um, The, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to do outside or if I want to do inside with the pots. Now, see, I've done an art piece, um, not just in my Bible, but I've done an art piece, a real big one with, uh, the door and the pots in the door, you know, cause this is supposed to be inside the house. Maybe we'll do that again. Um, I'll do that this time. Okay. So, <clears throat> Um, beautiful story, some beautiful lessons in this story. Um, you know, number one, she knew who to go to, <laughs> right? She did not waste any time. She went right to the prophet to say, Hey, what should I do? And he gave her some, some instructions that she had to follow, right? Bye, baby. Have a great day. I love you. You're going to have a great day today. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. <laughs> there were some instructions that she needed to do. There, You know, there's some things that she needed to do. And, um, and she followed them. Whatever the prophet told her to do, that's what she did. And, um... You know, great lesson for us. Go to the source. Go to the right person who can help you. And um, she knew exactly um, who she needed to to see and talk to. And that was the prophet because he, <coughs> that was God's, that was God's messenger. And her husband you know, it doesn't say how he died or what happened, but apparently she was a woman of God, too, you know? All right, so she obeyed. She went right to the source and then got busy doing what the prophet told her to do. And... <clears throat> She must have been a pretty decent person. She borrowed these pots. I mean, she must have known her neighbors. And, and I think about that because I'm saying, hmm, do I know my neighbors well enough to go ask them if I can borrow a pot? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know my neighbors like that. But I should, huh? I should know my neighbors like that. <laughs> All right, I made this line down here, but I want to make my pots. And so I'm going to put in um, all kind of different uh, vessels here that she could have borrowed to put this oil. Now, uh, you know, one of the other things in this story, you know, she did not think that what she had in her house was, she didn't think it was worth anything. Hmm? She didn't think her little bottle of oil was worth anything. I think I'm going to just do that straight. I'm not going to. And um, let's see. Now, in the one that I, the, the one that I did a long time ago, and I mean it has been a bit. Um, I had a little shelf. Actually, I had a window and a little shelf 
where this little bitty bottle of oil was sitting. And I think I'm gonna stick it over here today. <laughs> we'll do it a little different. And um, we'll put a little bottle right here of oil. Okay. She didn't think that what she had was worth anything. Sometimes our blessings are right under our roof. It's probably something <laughs> that you did not think would be really worth anything, right? But God could use that and then create a blessing. Isn't that something? The answers to your problems could be right in front of you. <clears throat> All right. These are going to be big pots because I can't do a whole bunch of little ones. <laughs> I'm going to be lazy. <laughs> But that must have been really something to witness. Here you have this little bitty bottle of oil and you've got all these pots. Let's see. You know, my symmetry is always off. I probably should make this a little larger and not make that the same as this over here. They could be all kind of different sizes, you know. I've, I've kind of made my pots look more like vases, but, you know. <laughs> but she gathered her pots. So look, she had, she, she knew her neighbors. <laughs> Great lesson. And know your neighbors. Have a relationship with them. She was going to give them back. It says, you know, she was borrowing, right? All right. Don't want to do any more. I've got all these little gaps right in here. Um, let's see. I guess I can put something here. Let's erase this. So, okay. She knows her neighbors. She borrows the pots. Her sons. Let's talk about them. You know, they must have been really good boys. Because I think <laughs> if I knew that I was going to be sold into slavery, I think I might would have ran away. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I would have stuck around. But these boys were good boys and they stood by their mother and they did whatever that mother told uh, told them to do, right? And they went out and they got the pots. They had, they played a part they played a part of their blessing. They got a chance to take part of the blessing. You know, and sometimes God allows that to happen. You know, we get a chance to actually play a part in our own blessing. He just doesn't make it happen. He lets us get a chance to um, I'm sorry, concentrating. Um, he gives us an opportunity to um, actually take part in our own blessing, in our own miracle. Okay, I think I'm going to make my I'll make my door come down a little further. It's not a lot of pots, but I think we get the idea, right? And I think I'll put that there. That's where I'll have that stuff. Okay. 
All right, and um, we'll put my my door knob there. Okay. And uh, maybe there's a window right here, and uh, we'll do a little curtain, maybe. <laughs> okay. I want it to look like a curtain. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's get started with some painting, okay? Okay. <laughs> I've done the sketch work, now let's get done with some artwork. And I'm using watercolor paints and um, I like this for this activity. Um, you know, I, I'm not a watercolor artist, but I guess after doing so many of these, I guess I can be called that, but... <laughs> um, typically the artwork and things that I <clears throat> I've done in the past have been with acrylic and acrylic is a little op uh, you know it's opaque it's thick paint um, well some of the paints can be thick um, the you know the kind that it, I, really it depends upon the kind or the brand that you have but um, watercolor is um, pretty transparent you know you'd still be able to see through the words and everything and I do try to to do that I don't get too worked up over if I um, you know if uh, <laughs> I um, cover up a word or two it's okay because um, this Bible has been dedicated to doing artwork for worship and So the message that I'm getting from it is what I'm, you know, what I'm journaling, right? And I will use another Bible to do some studying out of, okay? All right. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do my little curtain. I'm going to take that out. Let's erase that, okay? I don't want to keep them. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I think I'm going to work with my background first. I hadn't decided what color I wanted my door to be. I almost think I want a red door. <laughs> I'm not sure. And I, um, you know, I've got these pots to do, and uh, we have to do a little variation of colors and things um you know just to make them look different so that they're not all looking the same hmm? all right so i think um i'm gonna go you know I'm, i love that yellow ochre we're gonna do an uh, a yellow <clears throat> uh, and i think i'm gonna add in a little bit of of white uh, maybe i should have done that first maybe let's see I think uh, I think I'll just do this and I won't worry about it okay so I had somebody tell me oh you know after the devotional you lose me <laughs> I guess they just can't get into the art thing but uh, you know it's okay it's not for everybody you know I'm just sharing um, what I do and um, this is probably something that I will do for life uh, I love to paint but this is really um, a blessing you know um, I'm actually doing some artwork which is therapeutic for me <laughs> it really is and um but it also th this this allows me to be in god's word you know 
And so, hey, you know, this story is reminding me that, you know what? There might be some things right here in this house <laughs> that could be beneficial for my next blessing, my, bless my next miracle. Hmm? All right. Now that just added a little bit of brown to that yellow. Okay. I think I do want a, a red door. Um, I'm going to start though with a little bit of yellow and orange, I think, and then add um, some of that in there. Although I have some folks, let me say good morning because I, I got busy and I hadn't Winona, good morning to you, and Norma, good morning, Marche, hey, Ruth, Sean, and Al, thank you all for joining me this morning, God bless you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, yellow, and I'm going to put in a little bit of this orange, and... You know, I like variants of color, I do. I don't want things to be just plain. Now for my red, because this red, uh, well, that's not too bad. I think that I wanted it a little darker. I might add a little bit of a brown. Um, we'll see. I know it always looks very messy from the start. <laughs> it does. It's like, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, so I was talking about her sons and how they must have been very obedient boys and, um, you know, trained well. Oh, I needed to come over here too, didn't I? I think I would have run away. Seriously. Really? You want to... I'm going to be a slave? Oh, no. <laughs> but they stuck next to their mama. And they were able to witness a miraculous miracle take place right there in their home. It must have been something. And so, you know, I'm saying, you know, there could be some things right there in our house. And we say, oh, you know what? I don't know. That I'm holding on to it, but it's not really worth much of anything. Could be the very thing God wants to use or God is going to use um, to create for you a miracle and become a blessing to your family. Now she was able to take that oil and after she, you know, ran out of pots, cause she said, okay, where's the next one? And the sons are like, okay, there are no more mom. That's it. What? We're done? Yes. All the pots. Cause he said, and don't pick up a few. You got to pick up a lot. You pick up a lot of pots. <laughs> He said, don't pick up a few, borrow not a few, verse three, <laughs> says, borrow not a few. He intended for her to borrow quite a few of those things, a lot of them. Hmm? She did, and... My door is looking kind of brown now, not red. I kind of wanted a red door. It's all right. We can do some things to to fix that. Okay. 
and uh, her sons got to witness this miracle. She was able to take that oil and the prophet Elisha said, now you go and you sell, pay your debt, and then live off the rest. Isn't that something? She became an oil tycoon. <laughs> Isn't that something? I know it doesn't look good right now. We we got some work still to do on it. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to do um I think I'm going to do black maybe around here. I'm not certain. I might just do brown. We'll we'll see. Let's work on our pots a little bit. I'm going to use a smaller um a smaller brush. And we'll do some nice different colors and okay. I want them all to look different. I don't want them to all be the same. I'm gonna put that down here. So, hey, don't discredit what you might have in your house. All right? Now, I'm not saying be a hoarder either, <laughs> but I'm just saying <laughs> you might have something there <laughs> that might could benefit you. You never know. Ask the Lord about it. Okay? Ask the Lord about it. Yeah, we'll do some other things to um <laughs> let's see. I like that color. But um let's get uh let's do something purple. Okay. And I think I'll do uh, this little funny blue over here. And I just, you know, I wanted the pots to be different. Not all the same. Okay. Let's see now what color are we gonna do that one? Hmm? I'm very tempted to use this one over here. You know that color is very um it bleeds a lot. 
that is real close to this and maybe I'll do this blue I'll do this lighter blue let's see You see, I'm being really messy with it, right? <laughs> I am I'm being messy. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, work on this right here. I think my my jar of oil, I think I'll do that green because it's probably like olive oil, right? <laughs> Do a light green um, on that. We're moving right along. And good morning, Roslyn. How are you this morning? my words back in there we'll straighten that up in a bit okay so let's work on our um, let's work on our casing around the door I was thinking I was going to do maybe black um, but I think a dark brown will work just as nicely so I'm going to use because uh, this this brown eh, it's not so bad I guess I can use. I was thinking that I wanted it to be a little darker, but um, I think this will be okay. looks messy to begin with it does and I don't really you know I'm not really a neat neat painter <laughs> you're not I probably should have made that red go all the way down I think I'll I will fix that So, you know, sometimes when God wants to do something for us, like in the case of this widow here, her instructions were to, you know, borrow the pots and then when you get them, put them in your house, right? And then shut the door. Sometimes God just has a miracle that he wants to do and it's not for everybody else to witness and see. Um, you know, they might see the fruits of it later on, but like in this case, this was a private affair. Huh? This was a private affair between her, God, and her sons. Hmm? And, you know, not everybody, not everybody can be witness to it. Not everybody is involved. You know what I'm saying? All right. I want to do something with that little casing right in there. That little peekaboo window. All right. 
let's put a little bit of that I'm missing some spots here and maybe right down here uh, you know it doesn't have to be but eh. <laughs> I want to maybe I'll mix a little bit of uh, gray to put down here at the bottom of my cut off all right from where our our uh, floor is that'll be where the floor is okay let's um I just want to put a little bit of, um, of that yellow and brown that I had right in here okay I'm gonna grab it from here I think and Yellow. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right, let's dry and then we'll work on our next step. Okay. All right. Who knew there were this many doors uh, talked about in the Bible, right? All right, I'm gonna use my blow dryer. Just give me a few moments. that was real good and dry before I do anything with my markers so they'll be ruined if you uh, put them down start using them on the wet paint okay all right so now I'm going to do a little bit of uh, scratching I like doing a little bit of that that kind of helps to give a little definition to my my pieces and I'm using a Pigma Micron pen, and I'm using the 005, which is the smallest um, that I have in my set. And um, these are great for um, doing some writing in your Bible. Um, it's a permanent ink, so they will not be ruined if you get your Bible wet by chance. <laughs> um, and... Um, they usually uh, don't normally bleed through check them out you know I think I'm going to use a darker because this is a little dark I'm going to use a, a fatter one I think I'll go on up to the O2 for my door um, <clears throat> um, generally that you know they won't uh, bleed or um, run or any of that okay 
great pens to use. Matter of fact, in those, in the like Christian bookstores and things, um, in the sections where they have uh, journaling Bibles, um, they'll have different um, pens and things, and they will normally have they will normally have these available. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put that in too, and let's. Scratch in our okay. All right, it's coming, it's coming. We want to do some other things to it. All right, um, first thing, let's um, let's do my window and let's let some sunshine in there. thing I'm going to do usually you'll see me take like a gray um, pencil and do some shadowing around my pieces uh, I'm thinking today I want to be kind of bold and I think I might do, um, is this blue? It is. I want black. Let's see who you are. I think I'm going to take black and do it today. All right? It's really going to make... Probably we'll do this everywhere. It'll be a little different look today. I was thinking that I wanted to just do it on the one side. I, um, I might do it on everywhere. Hmm. Maybe. Do I want, what do I want to do? Do I want to do that? Hmm. Okay, let me think about it first. <laughs> let me hold that. And let's do my doorknob. I'm going to use my um, metallic um, gel pen. And this is kind of a bronze color I'm going to use to um, do the doorknob here. All right. And I think I'm going to scratch in a little bit of white in my door. Okay. This just gives it character. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Just adding a little bit of, hmm, a little bit of character. And it's okay, you know, if, if it's uh, scratchy like this, <laughs> I don't mind that. You know, it's kind of, I'm kind of holding it on the side and. Let's do our planks, and I think I'm going to use my O2. Go in with uh, it's black, you know, so I'm just going to kind of scratch it in. All right, it's just giving character to our door. All right, I think I'm 
gonna go in with a little bit of brown. Let's do, let's do it with this brown. I have uh, Pigma also has brush tip um, markers. These are um, archival link as well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna. This is a brown color. I'm just gonna add it a little bit and. To our door okay I think that's good okay um, hmm. maybe I should go on around with that go ahead and go on around okay I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the pots as well So great lessons in this story today, and um, it's one of my favorites. What do you have in your house? Hmm? What do you have in your house? All right, I'm 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 thinking that I want to use this. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to use this lighter color right around here. That's going to really make those things kind of just in this area and around the door, okay? can barely see it, but... It'll make that look like it's coming right at you. Do something around here. I'm going to use the red, I think, and come around here. I can barely see that. I might use brown. We'll see. So I don't think. I don't know if that's going to do enough. that down here so uh, mm -hmm. okay now I just want to do a little bit of shadowing in some spots and uh, 
using a lot with these uh, markers today and I normally um, you know I'm not doing that so much but it's good I'm you know got to use these things or they'll dry up on you you know this is not really the same kind of blue but it'll be okay <laughs> Not quite the same kind of blue, but it's all right. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna do the same with this green. Okay, I'm just gonna do it on the one side. All right, that's uh, this color right here. That might be a little tricky. Uh, it's kind of orange. I'll, I'll just go ahead and do with this orange. I think that'll be okay. Alright. Got this dark yellow. You almost can't see that, but that's alright. And uh, that this is a lighter blue. I don't, this is kind of a pastel. I don't think we're going to be able to see that. Well, I'm going to use that same blue that I put over here. That's okay. All right. I'm going to do our brown. Let's see. Okay, let's, I uh, think I want to do um, a little dark something around there, and I think I'm going to be done. Um, and I'll use my brush tip, a black one, to go around. And it's okay if you don't get a straight line and... And if it doesn't completely connect, all right, it's okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking today. Probably a little bit more, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Prim primitive art. <laughs> Especially with that black line I got going on here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, put my oil. I wanted to put my word oil on here. Okay. Right up there at the top, and let's go ahead and put a line in here. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do today with this. So she had to shut the door and then pour <laughs> that oil into those vessels, you all. And um, she was able to sell the oil, pay the debt, and then live. Her and her children were able to live off the rest. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful story. All right. Well, that's it for today, you all. God bless you. And I'll see you back here tomorrow, 7 p.m. It's two, it'll be Tuesday, so 7 p.m. 
and uh, we'll do it again. All right, and I might find another uh, verse with door involved, huh? <laughs> we'll see what happens, all right? God bless you. May your journey be sweet, and we'll see you next time, all right? Bye-bye.